The ancient culture of Orissa exists from time immemorial. The great Kalinga war that transformed the Indian Emperor Ashoka into a devout Buddhist and a great champion of Buddhism was fought on the Orissan soil on the banks of the river Daya. A great reservoir of culture, Orissa is the land from where the light of Buddhism radiated to different Far Eastern countries. Orissa is strewn with several Buddhist centers of art and learning. The rock outcropping on Dhauli Hill at the bank of the river Daya is 8 kilometers south of Bhuvaneshwar. It is the site of a set of rock edicts built by Emperor Ashoka in about 260 BC. The Orissan edicts consisting of two special edicts not found elsewhere are public injunctions to the empire's administrators. It instructs them to rule with gentleness and justice. These are my instructions to you. You are in charge of many thousands of living beings. You should gain the affection of men. All men are my children. And as I desire for my children that they should obtain welfare and happiness both in this world and the next, the same do I desire for all men. The elephant emerging from the rock above the inscription is meant to draw attention to the edict. It also serves as a symbol. Elephants are frequently associated with the Buddha either as the form in which he is believed to have entered his mother's womb. As the form the Buddha assumed in a previous incarnation or as the sacred symbol of Buddhism itself. The serenity of the place and the legacy of Buddhism motivated the Kalinga Nippon Buddha Sangha under the guidance of Guruji Fujiai, founder president of Nippon Zan Mehoji of Japan, to establish a peace pagoda or Shanti Stupa at Dhauli. A monastery called Sadharma Vihar was also constructed in the 1970s. Lalitgiri is the earliest Buddhist complex dating back to the 1st century AD. It forms an important node of the diamond triangle of Lalitgiri, Ratnagiri and Udayagiri. Recent excavations have brought to light significant archaeological material that upholds Lalitgiri as a great center of Buddhist attraction. The majestic ruins of the huge brick monastery The remains of the Chaitya Hall, a number of votive stupas or renovated stone stupa at the apex of a small rugged sandstone hill dominate the greenery around. The discovery of caskets containing sacred relics probably of the Tathagata himself, from the stone stupa at the top of the hill, enhances the sacredness of the stupa as well as of Lalitgiri for Buddhists around the world. Ratnagiri in the Birupa River Valley is another famous Buddhist center. The small hill near the village of the same name has rich Buddhist antiquities. A large-scale excavation has unearthed two large monasteries, a big stupa, Buddhist shrines, sculptures and a large number of votive stupas. The excavation revealed the establishment of this Buddhist center during the time of the Gupta king Narasimha Gupta Baladitya in the first half of the 6th century AD. Buddhism developed at this site unhindered up to the 12th century AD. This was an important center of Mahayana Buddhism. 
During the 8th to 9th century AD, Ratnagiri became a great center of Tantric Buddhism or Vajrayana art and philosophy. Pam Sam Jong Jang, a Tibetan source, indicates that the institution at Ratnagiri played a significant role in the emergence of Kala Chakra Tantra during the 10th century AD. This is quite evident from the numerous votive stupas with reliefs of divinities of the Vajrayana pantheon. Separate images of these divinities, inscribed stone slabs and molded terracotta plaques with dharanis were found in the excavation of Ratnagiri. Ratnagiri offers in its magnificent ruins a large brick monastery with beautiful doorways, sanctum cellar with a colossal Buddha figure and a large number of Buddhist sculptures. The largest Buddhist complex in Orissa, Udaygiri, assumed further importance after recent excavations revealed the ancient name of the monastery as Madhavapura Mahavira. The excavations brought to light a sprawling complex of brick monastery with a number of Buddhist sculptures. The archaeological remains of Udaygiri consist of a brick stupa, two brick monasteries, one excavated and the other still unexcavated. A beautiful stepped stone well with inscriptions on it and rock cut sculptures at the top of the hill. Chronologically, the Udaygiri Buddhist complex is later than Ratnagiri and Lalitgiri. The monasteries probably flourished between 7th and the 12th centuries AD. The large number of exposed sculptures from the excavations, as well as those still in situ, belong to the Buddhist pantheon. They consist of Bodhisattva figures and Dhyani Buddha figures. Much is still to be known about this site. In its present state, Udaiguri provides a grand site with its newly excavated sprawling monastery complex. For lovers of art and architecture, lay tourists, as well as special groups, Orissa offers in its magnificent Buddhist ruins a journey into the past, a journey rich in Buddhist history and tradition.